Hey y'all, welcome to my kitchen. Today we're gonna do some baking. But before we get to the recipe, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and go ahead and click on the bell to get notifications for upcoming videos. I always try to post a couple a week and so you don't wanna miss out on any of those. But today we're gonna make a delicious chocolate cake with a cream cheese filling. Now this cake is very rich and moist. I think y'all will love it very much. So let me go ahead and tell you what we're gonna do to get this cake started. Now you're gonna wanna preheat your oven to 350 degrees and uh, you wanna go ahead and grease a bundt pan really well. Make sure you get all the sides and the center done. You can either use a spray or you can use butter. I've used butter in my pan today. Now I'm gonna go ahead and tell you what all goes in this, but I am gonna post all the ingredients and the instructions under the video. That way you don't have to worry about writing them down right now. But you're gonna have flour in this. There's gonna be cocoa, salt, baking powder, sugar, eggs, vegetable oil, milk, and vanilla. That's what's gonna go in the actual cake itself. Then we're gonna do a cream cheese filling, which is gonna consist of eight ounces of cream cheese that you're gonna to wanna to soften, get another egg, some more sugar, and vanilla. Then we're gonna to top this cake off with a ganache which is gonna consist of some chocolate chips and some heavy whipping cream. So next up, we're gonna go ahead and start getting this cake mixed up for you. Okay, y'all, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, first, you're gonna put in your sugar in your mixing bowl. And then we're gonna put in the oil and we're gonna blend those together until they're mixed. So go ahead and do that. All right, and then we're going to add in the eggs. Now the eggs are gonna to need to beat for about two minutes. So let's go ahead and add those in. And we're, while we're doing that, I'll be back to show you the next step. We're gonna do this for two minutes. Okay, y'all, we went ahead and mixed in our eggs and we beat those in for two minutes. So now we're gonna add in our milk and our vanilla, and you're just gonna stir that to combine. And get that in. You don't wanna over mix your batter. You want it to be nice and fluffy. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and add in our dry ingredients. We've got our baking powder and the salt. And we're gonna add in the flour. And you just kinda wanna gradually add that in. Don't just dump it all in. And have a spatula on hand. That way you can scrape the sides of the bowl when you need to. And then the last thing we're gonna add in is our cocoa. There's our flour. And now let's add in the chocolate. And then you're just gonna wanna mix this until it's all blended. And turn this up just a little bit and get it blended. All right. Once our batter is all blended up really nicely, we're gonna go next and show you how we're gonna do the cream cheese filling for this cake. Okay, y'all, we're gonna go ahead and make our cream cheese filling for this wonderful cake. You just wanna take eight ounces and you wanna make sure it's to room temperature. And then you're gonna use a hand mixer and cream it before you put in the other ingredients. So we're gonna do that now. If you like chocolate cake, you're gonna love this recipe, y'all. It's so delicious and rich. All right, now, let's add in our other ingredients, which is one egg, and then 
some sugar. And then the last thing in this is gonna be vanilla. All right, there you go. And just blend that good. Okay, y'all, we're gonna go ahead and get our cake batter ready to get in the oven. Now, like I said earlier, you wanna make sure you have your oven preheated to 350 degrees, and you want to generously grease your bundt pan because, you know, we're gonna take it out of the pan after it comes out of the oven and it cools down. So, first what you're gonna do is pour in about half of the cake batter into the bundt pan. Being careful, you're trying not to get in the center. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and put in our cream cheese filling. Now, I'm using a little scoop to put in the filling. You can use a spoon or a spatula, whatever works for you. But you just wanna make sure you get it all in the batter. This is gonna be delicious, y'all. If you love a good chocolate cake, you need to try this one. Because it will wow your family and your friends, I can assure you. It is very rich, but I'm telling you, it's really a good moist cake that your anybody who loves chocolate and cream cheese will love it. All right. This just gives it a little bit of a twist on it. It's a traditional chocolate cake with this filling. And it's, I love a cream cheese. So this is gonna be really, really good today. All right, now we're gonna finish up with the rest of our batter. Okay, pour this in. It smells wonderful, y'all. I wish you could smell it. It's gonna make my house smell really good. <laughs> but um, once we get this in here, we're gonna go ahead and put it in our oven. And you're gonna bake this cake for about an hour. Now, depending on how quickly your oven cooks, you might wanna check it around the 55 minute mark or so. Um, if you start really smelling it, you just wanna make sure a toothpick will come out clean and then you'll know your cake's done. So that's what we're gonna do next. I'm gonna go ahead and get this one in the oven and then we're gonna come back because we're gonna do the ganache topping in just a little bit. Okay, y'all, as you can see, we've got our chocolate cake out of the oven. Now, we did bake it for about 45 minutes, so you do wanna check this, and as long as the toothpick comes out clean, then your cake is done. Now, once you remove it from the oven, you wanna leave it rest for at least 20 minutes before you try to take it out of your pan. I would recommend taking a butter knife and running around the outside rim of the pan. That way, it'll help release the cake onto your plate. So we've done that already. And then we have made our ganache, which is uh, three quarters of a cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips and two thirds of a cup of heavy whipping cream. Now the heavy whipping cream, I did heat in my microwave for like 30 seconds. And then you pour that over the chocolate chips and you let it rest for a couple minutes before you stir it. And then it makes this nice ganache, which we're gonna go ahead and put over our cake now. And this is gonna be a delicious cake, y'all. You may wanna go ahead and keep this in the refrigerator since it does have cream cheese in it. Um, once you, you know, tasted it, if you wanna go ahead and taste it, you go ahead. But anyway, if y'all will let me know how you like this one, if you try it, I think you'll really enjoy this recipe. And I hope that y'all will subscribe to my channel and click on the bell to get notifications for upcoming videos I've got. 
and I hope that y'all have a great day and thank y'all so much for watching.